question that we received the other day is, if you have a revocable living trust, do you also need a will? And that makes sense because a lot of people say, well, I'm creating a revocable living trust to deal with all of my assets so that I can avoid probate and then we won't have to rely on a will. So why even do a will in the first place? I'll just do the revocable living trust, thank you very much. And I tell, as a matter of course, we're not going to do a revocable living trust by itself. We're going to have a will on top of it. And the will is typically referred to as a pour over will. The idea is this, when you come to an estate planning, elder law attorney, Medicaid planning attorney like myself, um, you know what your assets are. You have your bank account, your brokerage accounts, your property, and it's very easy at that point in time to take all those assets, put it into a revocable living trust, and then if that's all you have, you don't need a will. But what happens if in 10 years from now you acquire additional assets? Or there are some assets that you just um, that you don't want to or you are unable to be put in a trust, like a car. Most people don't put their vehicles into inside a trust, or um, the pay on death designations of a life insurance policy or an IRA or 401k. Um, whether you have assets that you have to keep in your name or you acquire assets after funding a revocable living trust initially, it's important to have a will if for no other reason than to say um, everything goes into my trust. And that is essentially a safety net, right? You have this will in case there are assets out there that you forget to deed into the trust or you forget to list as a pay on death beneficiary into the trust, then that will is there to essentially catch those assets and say, okay, let's dump that into the trust and the trust can deal with it. So it's just a safety net precaution and we're gonna do it because it's good solid estate planning. And again, that's why if you, even if you have a revocable living trust, you want to want to have a companion will or a pour over will as well. If you'd like to discuss any estate planning, Medicaid planning, or elder law matter in Florida, including revocable living trusts and wills, please schedule a consultation today. Thank you.